Welcome back to Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be doing a alien invasion game on Scratch. So the point of the game is you you like spin the turret around, you move it left and right, and you try to shoot the UFO up here. So we are gonna play the game. So to start the game, I'm gonna turn on the volume a little bit. It's a bit too loud. Um, so you can move the turret only to the left and right, as you can see, and then you can use the space bar to fire at the alien ship. As you can see, there's a timer up here. So once the time reaches zero and you don't defeat the ship, then that means you will lose. And if you can defeat the ship within the time, then that means you will win. So I'll show you guys what will happen if you lose. So when you lose, it will just say you will lose and then play some losing music. Um, and each bullet does five damage, so if you shoot it uh, 20 times, you should be able to take it out. So you can see it says you lose, and that should be game over. And then I'll try to win this time, okay? So let's start. You can see it's a little bit hard to hit the ship. Put some good hits off of it. Three more hits to take it out. Oh, so that's what happens when you win. It'll have a little explosion effect right there. So, as you can see, it's quite hard to beat the game, but it is possible to win. Okay, now let's start a new project and get coding. So, we're going to start a new project. I'm going to start off by renaming our project to Alien Invasion. In invasion. Uh, so, Alien Invasion, we're going to delete Scratch Cat. I have everything in my backpack, so we have the um, turret. We have the bullets. We have the Alien UFO with a win and lose. So... Right here, the alien UFO, I mean the turrets, so this is how we drew it. So, uh, first we have a circle, so right here we have red on the outside and white on the inside. Then right here we have the glass, so this is the glass, like the thing on the turrets. And then right here we have the cannon, the gun. And what we did was, let me ungroup it, here I'll show you. So, what we did was we got like some dark gray, and then we stacked it on top. To make it look more like a turret so as you can see if you put it all together correctly um it should look pretty good i like that it should look like this so that's what we have for the turrets and if you want to download it you can go into our shared project and you can download it from there and um our turret you can draw if you want um just draw a circle uh kind of like a glass, and then draw tur uh, like the gun. And then right here we have the bullet. So right here, as you can see, the bullet is not centered, so the center is like right here, but we move the bullet a little bit to the right. It's because we wanted to make it kind of look like it's shooting out of the barrel, and not like the turret itself. So like we want to move the bullet like a little bit forward, so it's like up here. And what we did is just draw an oval and just put different colors. So it's pretty simple to make the bullet. And then for the UFO, we drew this one as well, so basically it's, so we have two green things for the antenna with the yellow lines, and then we right here we reshaped a circle into like a semicircle, and then right here we have another uh, longer semicircle, and it's for the base of the, like the spaceship, and then we have the three, I don't know what this is, I guess they're wheels or something like that, so we just put three of these, and then right here we have the explosion, what we did for the explosion is we drew a bunch of like stars, red, orange, yellow, all these stars, and put them, just layer them on top of the UFO. So, it's pretty simple to draw the UFO. So yeah, that's pretty much an overview of all the different sprites. Now let's get onto the code. Okay, so first we're going to start with the backdrop. So, for the backdrop, um, what we did was we had the, um, we had the stars backdrop, and I'm going to go ahead and get it from my backpack. Okay, so I just quickly got all the uh, backdrops. So here we have our stars backdrop. We're going to rename it to the backdrop. So this is like the backdrop we use. So we use this backdrop for the game. So it's just going to be the backdrop. And then right here we have the start and we have the ready. So we're going to delete this one. So we have the ready and then start. So basically it goes to like ready and then start. And then as soon as that happens, you switch to this one and the game starts. 
So right here we have the ready. So like um, in our last video, I showed you guys how to make your text kind of look like this. So if you want to learn how to do that, you can go ahead and watch that video. But if you don't want to do it, then you can just write the text like start ready. So yeah, we just made our game look a little bit better by doing this. And then so we're going to get into the code. So right inside the backdrop, we're going to get a one green flag clicked. I'm going to zoom in a little. And then we're going to have to make a variable. We're going to name it timer. So timer. So we have the timer. And then I'll just move to the other side because the UFO HP will be on the left side. And then we're, we're going to give them 30 seconds. So in the timer, set the timer to 30. And then we're going to switch the backdrop to ready in the beginning, which is the first one. As you can see, ready, start, that one. So ready. And then we're going to wait uh, 0.5 seconds. So it's going to wait a little bit before switching to the other one. We're going to switch it to the start backdrop. And then we're going to um, play sound. So we're going to... I have, I'm pretty sure there's like a symbol sound or something, but that's what I have for their symbol, crash symbol. Yeah, this one. So we're going to be using this one. Um, so we're going to use play sound, crash symbol until done. And then we're going to switch the backdrop to the backdrop, like the uh, game backdrop. And then we're going to broadcast a message called start. So this message start is going to um, start everything else, like all the other sprites. And we're going to broadcast it from the background. Start. So start, and then when I receive start here, so this is going to be like the timer, this is how you code the timer. So when we receive start here, so when I receive start, we're going to repeat until timer is equal to zero. So when the timer reaches zero, then they're going to lose. So we're going to do timer. So repeat until timer is equal to zero, we're going to wait one second. So it's going to wait one second and then minus one because it goes down every one second. So we're going to change the variable timer by negative one every second and then we're going to broadcast a message called lose so you'll lose if you run out of time so you have to lose and then right here let's get into the turrets so we're going to start coding in the turret um so for the turret we're going to get a one green flag clicked let's zoom in again when we like clicked we're going to go to so this is the position i had go to zero negative 175 so about right here and we're going to point direction of 90. so basically for our turrets um we made it side uh, up, like up, facing up, and our bullet facing the side, because we want our uh, our turret to only rotate from zero to one eighty degrees. So we're gonna make it point direction of ninety, and then we're gonna do a one receive start. So this is gonna be the movement of the turret. So movement of the turret. We're gonna go to start, and then forever. Um, if right arrow is pressed, key right is pressed, then we're going to rotate four degrees to the right, and then we're going to duplicate this, and delete, just trash this, and then if we're doing the left side, then we're going to rotate four degrees to the left. And then right here, we're going to point in direction of the absolute value of the turret. So as you can see earlier, the turret cannot flip upside down, so we just want it to go left to right, so that's why we're using the absolute value of the turret, um, so there should be no negative numbers. So it should be only able to move from 0 to 180. So this half of the circle. So here we have the 0, uh, about 0 right here, to 180. So it should be only able to move the, th through these two quadrants. OK, so set it back to 90. OK, so next, after we get the movement done, we are going to have to make it so the turret cannot flip upside down and go the negative a direction so we're going to only make the turret go left to right like that so um as you can see uh so i'm gonna uh play it so then it's at 90 so what we want to do is just make the turret from 0 to 180 so um and then we're going to take the absolute value of that so then it can't go negative so absolute value is basically just the distance from a number to zero so let's say you have negative five the absolute value is five just get rid of the negative sign same with five absolute value of five is five so it's just the distance from zero, and basically we just want it to go left and right, so we're going to have to take the absolute value of the direction. So we're going to make it point in the direction, point direction, absolute value of the direction. So we're going to go motion, and then we have direction. So like that. So let's we'll save it, let's play it. As you can see, the turret is not able to flip upside down. 
and it's just stuck. So if I try to like press, it doesn't work. I can't go past this. I can't go past two, and I can't go past 178. So as you can see, it is working. And now let's go onto the bullets. So onto the bullet, um, we have some code for this one as well. So we're going to go when we fly clicked, we're going to hide the bullet in the beginning. And then we're going to, when I receive, so when I receive start, so when we start the game, we're going to forever loop. We're going to forever if, so we're going to do it space bar to shoot the uh, bullets. So we're going to do if key space is pressed, then we're going to go to the turret. We're going to make it go to the turret. And we're gonna point direction of uh, the direction of the turret minus 90. So the reason for that is because the bullet is pointed towards the side and the turret is pointed up. So if we were to minus 90, so we're gonna so if we're to minus 90, it would be right side up. So since the turret is already facing 90, the minus 90 it will be facing zero, which will be facing up, which is the way the turret is facing. So we're gonna uh, go to turret and then we're gonna point in direction, and then uh, we're going to get minus and we're gonna minus 90 and then we're gonna direction of the turret so we're gonna get this thing and then we're gonna select the turret and then direction so there we have it and then we're gonna next we're gonna show and then after that we're gonna start sound so I have a sound it's called laser so I went online and got it there so what I did was use the sound thing recorded it at, from the video and got the sound so you can get that from online they have some laser sounds in the scratch library but i don't think it's as good as this one and then next we have the repeat sign we get the repeat loop so we're going to repeat nine times so it's going to move 40 steps so we're, this is going to make the uh, bullet move and make it move 40 steps and then next if the it's touching the ufo so if it's touching the ufo we're going to have to put that inside the repeat so if touching ufo the bullet is touching the UFO, we are going to uh, wait 0 0.01 seconds, so it's going to stay there for a fraction of a second to make sure that's actually hitting the UFO, and then it's going to hide. Okay, so like that, and then we're going to hide, put a hide down here. So let's say else, the, the let's say the bullet hits the side, it will also hide, so that's why you have a hide right there. So now we can play it. So, you can see you can shoot the bullet. Yeah, so when you shoot the spaceship, of course, it doesn't do any damage or anything, it just stops. So, yeah, that's basically what we have. We have the shooting and the movement done. Next, let's hop into the UFO. Okay, let me zoom out so I can show you guys all the code. Okay, now let's go into the UFO. So, inside the UFO, we are going to make a new variable. We can name it UFO. So this is the UFO HP. This is the HP for the UFO. I'm gonna move to the corner, and then I'm gonna when green flag clicked. When green flag is clicked. We are going to go to this position. Uh, I I'd say 50 80. That's what I had last time. So uh, 50 80. So I'm head, and then we're gonna switch the costume to UFO. The first one, not the explosion one. So we're gonna switch to the first one, and then we're gonna make it have 100 health. So, like in my other game, I put it as 100, so I use 100, and then when I receive the message start, so when we start the game, we are going to forever loop, and then we're going to go glide it, we're going to glide 0 0.5 seconds, and then we're going to make it pick random, so we're going to, it's going to glide to random places, make glide, pick random negative 230 to 230, and then for this one, for the Y, we are going to duplicate that and I'm just gonna make it go to 20 to 170 okay so now we have the gliding and then right here we're gonna do if the UFO has less than or equal to 1 HP then we are gonna stop the script so if the UFO has less than or equal to so less than oops let's put that in here less than or equal to zero so basically if it's lost all its HP then we are going to stop the script. Stop the script. And then down here, after this, we're going to um, do the shooting. So if you get if the UFO gets shot, it will initiate some other code. So we don't want it to be interfering with this one, so we're going to make a two different scripts. So two different scripts. We're going to get the one I receive start. Scroll down. Uh, I'm going to get a forever loop. 
You could actually put this on this side actually, so you can see both. So forever, and then we're gonna do if then statement. So if so if this thing is touching the bullet, the spaceship is touching the bullet, then we will um, start sound screech. I have the sound right here, and then we're gonna change the UFO HP by negative five. So each bullet should do negative five, five damage. So we're gonna do KD UFO by negative five, and then after that we're going to repeat eight times and change the color effect. So we're gonna make a change color effect just so you can see that it's taking damage. We're gonna repeat it eight times. And then we're gonna do change color effect by 25. Change color effect by 25. And then next we're going to clear all graphic effects after it's done. Put that under the repeat sign, the repeat loop. And after that we're gonna do if, so under the graphic effects, we're gonna do if it's, if the UFO has less than or equal, okay, I can just duplicate this. And then, so if it has less than or equal to zero HP, then we will switch costume to the UFO explosion. And then we're gonna broadcast a message. We're gonna call it win. So you win the game after you defeat the UFO. Oops, broadcast new message, and win. And then we're going to stop the script once you win. So we're gonna stop the script. Okay, so now we win. We're gonna make the win and lose um, sprites work now. So we're gonna go into our win sprite. So inside our win sprite, I'm gonna first get a one green fly clicked. One green fly clicked. We're going to go to zero zero. That's the origin. And then I'm gonna get a hide. So it's gonna hide in the beginning. And then when I receive win. So when you win, go to the front layer. Go to the front layer and then we're gonna show and then we're gonna play the sound explosion. So I have the sound right here. Um, and then next we're gonna stop all. So this the winning. And then right here we have the lose. So inside the losing sprite, we're going to get a one green flag clicked. We can just copy this code right here. And we can also copy this code right here, but we have to change some of the stuff obviously. So right here we're gonna have to do when I receive lose. Go to front layer, show, and then instead we're gonna get another sound effect. So we have the sound effect lose right here. Put that in. So here we have all of our stuff. And lose is from the scratch um, sound library, so you can just find it here. So here we have our game complete. Let's play it. So save our game. You can see when you shoot the alien ship, it takes damage. Timer is going down. You can move. You can't move your um, turrets like that. You can't move it. So I'll try beating it. I don't think I'll win this time because I wasted some time over there. Yeah, okay, so I lost. So you lose. Um, it's still moving because I did a plane uh, until done. Lose until done. Um, because if you don't use the until done, it will just stop the game. So you can use a shorter sound if you would like. And then I'm just gonna like give the UFO like 5 HP so I can just show you guys how it is if you win. Let's see if it works. So let's see if you win, the explosion, and it works. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial on how to make an uh, alien invasion game. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell as well. And I will see you guys in the next video.